Hi there, my name is Callum Thompson. I'm e-learning support officer for the business school here at MMU. Um, in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can take a folder which contains a number of files and other subfolders with files inside them and zip up that folder and upload it to Moodle in one upload. So we only upload one file to take a, a large amount of documents onto Moodle. And this can be very helpful if you've got a large number of files at the beginning of the year that you want to upload and share with students. Or if you have a, a directory of a number of, say, images that you want to share with students and you don't want to upload them all individually. Um, so to begin with, I've got this one folder on my desktop here. And if I click on this to open it up, you'll see I've got three subfolders inside it. And inside each of these subfolders, I've got one, two, three images in my images folder. In my spreadsheets, I've got one, two, three spreadsheets. And in my Word documents, I've got one, two, three Word documents. So a fairly simple um, makeup of a folder there. And um, the first thing I'm going to do with this folder is I'm going to zip it. Now to zip a file, we right click on the file and go to send to and then select compressed zipped folder. And this automatically, might take some time if it's a larger file, creates this demo directory, the same as my directory here, but you'll see it's got a zip on it, and it says .zip at the end of the file name. That means we've created a zip folder, and that's treating that entire folder as one file. Now, the next step is we just want to check that it's going to be small enough to upload to Moodle. The maximum upload size you have is 100 megabytes, so this one's fine. It's sitting at 20 kilobytes. Um, if your file or your zip folder is sitting above 100 megabytes, then you'll need to go back and just break down the folder a little bit. But you can split it into two um, and hopefully get it down below 100 megabytes. Um, so I'm now going to go into Moodle. And here I am in my sandbox. And we don't need to turn anything on for this task. We're just going to go under the administration block and click on files. And then we're now looking at the files within our Moodle area that are attached to this specific Moodle area. So you can see that for my sandbox, it's clear just now that there's no files in there. But I'm going to upload a file into it. Clicking upload a file. And then I'm going to select browse. And from the list of files on my desktop, I can see there's this demo directory. But there's also demo directory zip. And that's the one that I want. I'm going to click on that and open it. And then I'm going to click upload this file. Just taking a second there. Um, okay, so now we can see within the files which are in my sandbox, which are attached to my sandbox, we have this demo directory .zip. Now that's not very much good for us to snow because it's still contained within this one file. However, you'll see under the actions menu, Moodle lets us unzip folders. So if we click unzip, it will come up with all the directories and files within that folder. I'm going to click OK. And now I've got this demo directory. It's unzipped it for me and placed it just as it was on my desktop. If I click onto this folder, you'll see the subfolders below it. Images with 1, 2, 3 images. Spreadsheets with 1, 2, 3 spreadsheets. And Word documents with 1, 2, 3 Word documents. It'll work for any file that you want to upload. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to get rid of the zip folder just to keep things tidy. So I tick the box next to the demo directory zip file. And from the drop down menu below it, I'm just going to select delete completely. It allows me to confirm that. And now I've got the folder that was on my desktop. One quick upload. It's now there and I've got all those files inside that. Okay, so that's how we upload a file onto or how we take a folder and create a single file out of it and upload it in one upload into Moodle.